Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video today. Um, something exciting is happening right now. I'm actually on my way to go and pick up a part that came off of my old WRX. So I'm buying a part off my old WRX and putting it onto this one. If any of you guys have followed my channel long enough or have gone back and looked at my older videos, I used to have a 15 WRX that was ice silver metallic. And uh, I ended up selling that and now I'm in this. So. Um, I'm gonna hit the road and go pick this thing up. All right guys, well, I'm on my way back now with it and uh, I'll see you at the house. Well, here it is. This is how I uh, recognize it. It's that rainbow flake. Uh, but anyways, here it is. Like I said, it isn't an STI trunk, it's just a WRX trunk with a CB Speed STI wing on it. Um, it. The guy put this password JDM gurney flap on it, which is cool, I guess, because it's discontinued. Uh, but I'm going to probably take this thing off, and obviously I'm going to have to paint the spoiler, I'm going to have to paint the trunk. Alright, I got it off, but now of course there's 3M tape all over the wing and all over this so that's gonna be fun all right well that wasn't easy but after a lot of scrubbing i got all of the 3m tape off all the residue off i got a couple scratches because i used a razor blade on some of the stubborn spots uh but all this is getting resanded and painted anyway okay guys so i just made the executive decision that i am keeping these on i'm painting the trunk with these on the on the trunk i just spent probably 15 20 minutes Heating, prying, heating, prying, heating, prying, and it is not, these are literally not budging anywhere. So, all the bolts are out, there's nothing holding them in, and at this point, I'm just giving up. So, I'm going to paint them with the trunk, when I paint the trunk. <laughs> Oh, the joys of painting outside. Well, this isn't the most uh, effective use of an engine crane, but uh, I'm glad I thought of this. I didn't know how I was going to paint the top part of the spoiler without it being on, but this crane is going to hold it just fine. It came out pretty good. Well, guys, the spoiler is on the car. Everything's painted. Uh, I'm probably going to wait like a month before I wet sand and buff everything, sort of like I did with my flares, just to make sure the paint is 100% cured before I touch it. Uh, I'm not entering it into any shows anytime this month or anything, but uh, it's been a couple days since I painted everything. I just now got the spoiler done today, uh, so the trunk has been done for a couple days now, but everything's on the car. I just installed it all, and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. Well, before the comments start, yes, now I'm like every other fanboy with a WRX with the STI wing. I don't really care. I think it looks good. It's my car, uh, so I'm just doing what I like. Uh, the car is faster than an STI. I mean, seriously, I, the whole controversial thing is just stupid. It is a factory spoiler. 
Now I know I'm gonna have arguments probably like, why did you get rid of your custom carbon molded duck bill for that? I understand those comments. Yes, I put a lot of time and work into that duck bill, spoiler, and I'm not planning on getting rid of it just yet. So for anyone wondering, I mean, the spo but before I get there, the spoiler did come out really good. Everything's nice. Um, obviously, like I said, I have a couple little dirt nibs in the paint that I have to get. But besides that, this is just a straight spray job in the driveway, and it looks pretty damn good. I, I literally, you guys saw me paint everything in the driveway, and it came out really nice. So, But anyways, guys, like I said, I mean, I think it looks great. And the main reason I bought this was because it came off of my old WRX. So it's just cool to have an old part off of my old Subaru on this. And, you know, because that, that WRX is what started my channel. That's what is just, you know, everything came from that car. So having that, knowing that came off that car, is just a cool factor. You know, it's, it's for me, no one else is going to know it came off that car. But it, it's just cool. I like it. Um, so anyways... Uh, with the duckbill spoiler that I, I, I molded on, I'm contemplating a few things. Either No matter what route I go, I'm going to redo it. So what I'm planning on doing is at some point it's going to get redone. I might keep it just in case I decide to do, uh, you know, I, I get tired of the STI wing or I just want to switch it up for a couple weeks or something. I can swap them in and out. Um, I also contemplated doing a giveaway and whoever would win the giveaway I would paint match it for their car wet sand buff it make it look as good as I can and then uh, you know get ship it out to them but that would be very expensive to ship it so I'm not sure what I want to do yet um, but anyways guys I hope this video didn't get too long I haven't edited it yet so edited it did it yet I haven't edited it yet I... <laughs> anyways I haven't messed with the video yet, so I don't know how long you got, so hopefully it's not too long for you guys. But I appreciate you checking out the video. Hopefully you're, you know, you like it, and if you don't, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm excited about it. So, uh, it definitely makes the car look a little more aggressive now. Uh, the duckbill was just, the whole car was starting to look aggressive, and the duckbill was so subtle. And I just wanted more aggressiveness in the rear end, so I did that. Now I can add, you know, wing stiffies or whatever. Uh, I can put that password JDM, uh... Uh, gurney flap one so I don't know I have some options now but anyways guys I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video